Okay, well, welcome back to Dogon Rongpa. Let's uh let's hop on the train. I just need to get on this train, right? No way! Well, there's really no need to be cautious. It's not like it's gonna speed up, drop, fly, or anything else. Hey! I I'm gonna believe you this time, so you better be telling the truth. Alright! Let's go! As soon as we all stepped on, the small train started moving slowly and went inside the dim tunnel. Ladies and gentlemen, this train is heading toward the funhouse! Allow me to guide you all to the world of surprises on this train that runs toward glory! Please be careful of where you step. Also, it's dangerous to stand up all of a sudden. Well, it's not like you have time to do that. Huh? What the hell? Is this gas? Damn it. This was definitely a trap. As soon as that white smoke surrounded us, our bodies started to feel soft, like mollusks. Our brains felt like they were starting to melt into a puddle of mush. And in the end, we lost consciousness. Oh no. Oh, why is this so bright? Oh! Uh, uh, when I woke up, I was someplace I... I was someplace that didn't make sense. It was clearly a place I've never seen before. My sense of reality was still hazy, so I wasn't able to react right away. Where is this? However, when I looked over at Nekamura standing tall and in a wide stance, my sense of reality felt even hazier. Man, I slept good. Oh my! Where are we? What? What the hell is this? Voices expressing surprise and confusion began to surround me one after another. It seems the, that the others have started to wake up as well. Mm. Why was I sleeping in a place like this? Good night. Oh well, I should go back to sleep for a little longer. That's obviously wrong! No! Don't! You seriously can't do that! What did you do to me? I assume that this was that gas is doing. Damn it! That gas we were forced to breathe right after the train started moving. Must have knocked us all out. Then, we were brought here, huh? I see. In that case, this must be the interior of the fun house. Welcome! Welcome to Strawberry House! <laughs> Strawberry House? Isn't this the fun house? Yep. Of course, it's the- Of course, it's the fun house. Strawberry House is just part of the fun house. <laughs> A part, you say? Allow me to explain! Ta da! This is Strawberry House in its entirety! You are currently at the indoor park located on the third floor! As you can see, there's a lot of playground equipment with strawberry designs! How fancy! Now then, next is the second floor! There's a lounge that's perfect for freshening up, and I've prepared five guest rooms that are lined up like BOOM! The guest rooms are divided up by quality grade. The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air insulation. The standard room may have so-so insulation, but it's still pretty decent. And the grubby room has severe airflow and draft problems. That concludes my explanation of the second floor. Last but not least, the first floor of Strawberry House. On this room, there's a room called the Final Dead Room. That's all like BOOM! You can enter the final dead room at any time, but uh, be extra cautious when you pick up the, the difficulty setting. On the same floor, there's a hallway called Strawberry Hall, and when you pass through it, there's a truly strange, enormous tower standing tall with a boom boom! It's called Strawberry Tower. Please use your own two feet to get a feel for what the inside Strawberry Tower is like. Hmm, this concludes the tour, but I it was a little difficult to understand with my wordy explanation. So you should all just use your own two feet to explore the inside of the building. Hmm? That's all for me. Any questions? Hey, hey, hey! Hell yeah, we got questions, obviously. What's this? Really, really? What's your question, really? What do you yearn for? To bring us to a place like this. What are you planning to make us do this time? That's right! I have a lot of questions, but let's start with that one first. Hmm? Oh, didn't I explain it to you? <laughs> this is the mode of this time. Yeah! An escape game! 
escape game? In other words... The concept this time is a closed circle within a closed circle. Like Hope Speak Academy back then, this fun house is a completely closed space. Hey! There's um, only one way to get out of this closed space building. Viva Killing! When the killing begins, I'll let you guys out when the next killing happens. <laughs> let the escape game begin! Uh... What? What the fuck?! Damn it! We can't get out of here till the next killing happens? This is troubling. I knew this was a trap, but I never expected it to be so straightforward. How foolish of me! If only I erected a magical barrier, I wouldn't have had to breathe in that gas. Mm. I let my guard down and ended up falling asleep! Hey! Like, why would even gas work on a robot? That's supposed to be when you make your move. <laughs> gas shouldn't pose a problem, but if they activate my sleep mode, even I won't stand a chance. Huh? Sleep mode? Oh! Oh, that's right. It's a cutting edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Just press the goodnight button on my back, and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. What? What's the point of that function? <laughs> Didn't I just tell you it puts my other functions to sleep even if I have insomnia? Hey, hey, you even need sleep? <laughs> in order to awaken from sleep mode, I just need to set the alarm in my chest. It's all possible with just one touch. Jeez. Damn it, he's not even listening. How pitiful. He probably wants to live like humans as much as he can. Such is the sad nature of robotic organisms. Man. At any rate, Monokuma sure stuffed him with a lot of useless functions. Um. Anyway, Mechamaro must have lost consciousness because his button was pressed. Damn it! What a blunder. He must have taken advantage of that white smoke and went around me. <laughs> I'll never let that happen again! Hey, hey. I feel like it's gonna happen again. For now, why don't we look for an exit? But. Exit? Is there even an exit? I mean. If there was, this wouldn't be a closed space, right? It'd make Monokuma's motive pretty meaningless. Dumbass! What are you giving up for, dumbass? If we were brought inside this place, then there's definitely an exit out somewhere. Amazing! Uh, a heart that refuses to give up until the very end. That must be hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand. Then let's explore the inside of this building with that map we got. Well? But exploring on your own is too dangerous. It might be better if we teamed up with someone. Damn right! Then Akane, you come with me. Huh? Oh, that's an unusual combo. <laughs> Could this guy be? Huh? It's nothing like that, idiot. There's just something I want to talk to her about. Uh. I don't mind. Whatever's fine. Wow. Wow. When, when you two stand right next to each other, there's a noticeable height difference. Bastard! Drop it, bastard. You. Hey, if we're gonna go, let's hurry up and go. Damn right. All right. Then we'll go on ahead first. With those two parting words, the two of them left the area. Miss Sonia! Well, Miss Sonia, I guess it's time we should also... However... Sonia already left with Gundam. Oh my! Huh? <laughs> oh, you got dumped. Of course not! <laughs> Idiot! I, I didn't get dumped! Why would I get dumped? In fact, I'm really popular. That's obviously not true. Now then. I think it's time for me to get going too, so... Hey. Chiaki, would you like to go together? Huh? Me? Yep. I haven't really had a chance to talk to you, so I thought this would be a great opportunity. For now. Then take me with you two. Three people's okay, right? Huh? That's fine, but... <laughs> oh, I get it. Kazuichi's trying to avoid Hajime. Huh? Hey, hey, hey! Oh, what are you talking about? Avoid Hajime? It's nothing like that. What? What do you mean? Well, call it a hunch, but maybe Kazuichi can't stop thinking about it, you know? The possibility that you're the traitor? <laughs> <laughs> I was just... I just said what Kazuichi was feeling. I mean... Well, you know, the truth is, we don't know anything about you, so it's not my fault if I don't trust you. What, what does that mean? We've been together this whole time and you still don't know who I am? That's obviously wrong! Uh, like that matters, it's not like I know the real you. Just like how we didn't know anything about Mikon. The real me? Huh? And the only reason we're here is because you were the one who suggested we go to the funhouse, right? Are, are you saying I lured you guys here? Why would I do that? That's right! It's not that far-fetched, you know. 
Uh, I'm sorry, Hajime. I really do want to trust hmm. you, uh, but I just can't yet. That's why I'm going with Chiaki. It's not like I want to go with Nagito either. But you're saying Nagito's more trustworthy than me? What the hell? Damn it, why did this happen? Yep. If that's the case, it is what it is. Why don't you come along with us, Kazuichi? Mm. Oh, but... It's fine, Chiaki. Just go. Yep. Got it. I'll see you later. With that, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Nagito all left together to explore the area. Huh? <laughs> I guess we're the leftovers. Looks like we're not very well liked. <laughs> it's not like complaining about it will change anything. We're just a traitor and a robot, after all. I'm not the traitor. Oh! Oh, that's right. My apologies. Well then, Hajime. <laughs> Let's show everyone else the value of leftovers. Let's magnificently find the exit to with our very own hands. If we do that, it'll solve everything. When people stop trusting you, it seriously sucks. No matter where I look, every area is decorated with strawberry patterns. I don't hate strawberries, but if these patterns continue, I might start getting sick of them. Oh? According to Monokuma's map, the only thing on the third floor is the park we're currently at. Then... It looks like we don't have any business on this floor. <laughs> Just so you know, Hajime, let me know whenever you're feeling thirsty. Is he talking about his soda fountain? I don't really want to drink anything that comes out of his eyes. According to the map, there should be guest rooms in the lounge on the second oh. floor. Alright, I should go explore the guest rooms. The lounge is all you. Yeah, got it. This is a lounge. Okay. Ooh, that's where they snuck off to. Hmm. So this is the lounge. This is also completely covered in strawberries. It's gonna be difficult to relax here. I guess for now I should just look for things I might be able to use. Look at the clock. And that painting of the old creepy guy. Thanks to the wall clock, I know what time it is, but knowing the time isn't exactly going to help things. It's an old portrait hanging on the wall. Plus, we could just ask uh, Negomaru what time it is. His clock is the most accurate, so like, there's no point in even worrying about other clocks. Why would there be a portrait in a place like this? It's very out of place. Also, the placard, of, the placard on this portrait. Hope Speak Academy founder Izuru Kamakura. Why would a portrait of someone as important as the founder of Hope Speak Academy be in a place like this? Also, his name it's so hard to pronounce. I thought he was gonna say it's familiar. That'd be crazy. Fine. How meaningless. To think this savage tone would confuse me. Go, my four dark devas of destruction! I have waited for you, invading Black Dragon Champi. Exert your strength to your heart's content. <laughs> I shall wait until Champi returns with his report. He has such skillful control over his hamsters. He might really be able to communicate with them. I see. This place. I see. It's supposed to be a lounge, but it seems I may not be able to calm myself and relax in here. Seriously. I thought the amusement park was bad taste, but this is even worse. You are right. I agree. Monokuma's eccentric taste would shock even an Indian. Shock an Indian? What? What does that mean? Ah, there's a telephone. The fact that there's a telephone in this building is clearly suspicious. Will I be able to call someone with this? When I walked toward the telephone, I immediately noticed it. What is this? Instead of a numbered buttons, there's just a single button with a grape image on it. I like grapes, but not strawberries. But for now, I'll give it a press. Sounds like it's connected to somewhere, but no one's picking up. Let me tell you this. What a mysterious device. It may be used for summoning rituals. A novice shouldn't carelessly touch it. It's probably not that dangerous. Aside from the button, it looks like any other regular phone. But it doesn't work like a normal telephone. And I don't even know where it was connecting to. This, too, must be the will of causality. Jeez, what's going on? My four Dark Davis of Destruction are investigating the area, but it seems there's nothing of note to report. Listen! Why have you given up? There may still be something on this floor we have not yet searched. Yeah, you're right. It's still too soon to get I'll up. leave that matter to your discretion. 
All right. I should try exploring the first floor I haven't seen yet. We should probably also check on Nekamaro now. See if he learned anything. Are you standing around here? Weren't you going to check out the guest huh? rooms? Well, it seems that the standard room over there is already occupied. Occupied? Then... I should go explore another place first. Uh, okay. Well, I guess people are already claiming their rooms, and you can tell which room is which by the door, which is insane to me, but... You know what? It is what it is. There wasn't anything terribly important on the third and or second floor, but that doesn't mean that there's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. Man, this is the first time, like... <laughs> <laughs> this building is peculiar. Look at the inside of this bathroom. I can't take a peaceful shit like this. Preventing me from taking a good shit. This house is certainly defective. Oh, it's Chiaki. This door. Looks like it gives off a different vibe compared to everything else. The final dead room. Allow me to explain! The final bedroom is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Matakuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that can occur in this room will be able to reach the octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. <gasps> now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final bedroom. Uh, life-threatening game? What the hell is that? Did he just say I can obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? How stupid. Who the hell's gonna do that? Well, there's an elevator. Isn't this an elevator? That's weird. The only stairs are between this building's second and third floor. Does that mean there's a basement? There's a button next to the door. A grape image. It's the same as the button on the lounge telephone. What happened if I press this? So, without really thinking about what it... And so, without really thinking about it, I tried pressing that button, but... It's not reacting at all. Is that an order? I don't really get it, but it looks like this elevator isn't usable. <laughs> what is it, Hazumei? Did you find something? Uh, the final dead room place sounds suspicious, but going inside might be a little dangerous. But Akuma did mention a life-threatening huh? game. It's not even worth playing if all you if all you get after winning is a weapon. Oh. Now then, the other should be at the Strawberry Tower, the far back of Strawberry Hall. Show some spirit. Let's get going already. Okay. Damn, Chiaki, why are you so tall? Why am I so short? Man. According to the map, Strawberry Tower is on the other side of this door. <laughs> Ugh, there's a doorknob? There's no way we could open a door like this. Maybe you just have to press the button that's next to the door. You know, the one that says open? <laughs> I wonder what that means. It's funny, it's spelled just like the word open. I... Wait, seriously? Huh? Anyway, I just have to press this button then. Negamara raised his right arm and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. Okay, so, confirmed, there's just another side that takes you to a great building. Alright. So, this is the Strawberry Tower, huh? The building is shaped like a huge circle. Plus, the ceiling is so high, I can't really make it out. Jeez, Jeez more of these bright red decorations. What terrible taste. Huh? Well, with a name like Strawberry Tower, I guess the terrible decorations are intentional. That's right, this is Strawberry Tower. Why do I see something that doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? There's a huge door at the far back of the tower, but there's a grape image on it. I thought this was Strawberry Tower. Wait, this image? Doesn't it match the one on the lounge phone, and also the one we found near the first floor elevator? Uh -oh. Perhaps this door might be the exit. Huh. Exit? Huh? Take a look at the map we received from Monokuma. I see. There's a door at the far back of Strawberry Tower, but nothing is drawn on the other side of that door. Now doesn't this mean that the exit is on the other side of this door? Therefore, we must try to confirm it by opening this door. Nekamaru let out a battle cry, grabbed the doorknob and tightly with both hands, and attempted to pry the door open. However, 
What does this mean? The doorknob won't budge. Not even one bit. Is it locked? Well, well, shit. It appears to be locked tight. Show some spirit! In that case, I shall use my full power. Ooh. With a fierce roar, Nekamaru put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands. But... <laughs> Not yet. Here it comes. The incredible strength of one million horsepower. Wait, isn't it creaky? If you break up the doorknob, we'd be stuck in here. That would be bad. This is so, shouldn't we discuss this with everyone else first? Before you... Sh shouldn't we discuss this with everyone else before you force your way through? I see. You have a point. Oh! Very well then, even though the door would have opened soon. I'll give it a rest. Then let's go back to Strawberry House and discuss this with everyone. If they'll listen to what I have to say, that is. Hmm. Is it just me, or does it seem rowdy by the elevator over there? Did something happen? Oh, I feel like bought a Kuba. Hiya! Yo, how are you guys doing? Were you able to get the general idea of Strawberry House's huh? side? Strawberry House's side? That's a strange thing to say. Sounds like there's another building. Of course! That's why there's this thing called the contact elevator. Let me ask. Contact elevator, you say? Hey! Hey! Even though it's an elevator, it's a big mistake to think that it moves vertically. This is an elevator that travels along a rail, so even moving horizontally is easy as pie. Then, does this elevator go to a different building? Yep! That's right! To Grape House! Huh? Grape House. Hey! Um... The Fun House is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings. See ya later! Well, we can worry about the details when we get to Grape House. I'll be going away. Huh? I don't really get it, but he just wanted to tell us to go to Grape House this time, right? Um... And that we must ride that elevator, right? Are we screwed? What should we do? Show some spirit! Ha! We just have to go for it! The only way we can overcome this situation is to make a move! I mean... But still, you know... <laughs> what, you scared? Of course not! Oh, hell no! Why are you saying that in front of Miss Sonya? Huh? Fine, I'll fucking go! <laughs> I'm not scared at all! Well, I don't have it as bad as Kazuichi, but... I do have a bad feeling about this. But, we can't just stand here and do nothing. Alright, let's go. When I press the great button next to the door, it immediately opened. I get maybe you have to press it twice. We stopped on we stepped onto the elevator and off we went to the grape house. Is this already moving? Hmm. If so, if so, that'd be awesome. How so? Hey! I mean, it's not vibrating at all, right? This is probably a really high performance elevator if it's not vibrating all that much. Hmm. Maybe it's not actually moving. All right, let's open the door and make sure. You must not. You cannot, that is too dangerous. After staying inside the vibration-free elevator, eventually the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we've arrived at our destination. So, this is Grape House. No matter where I look, everything's plastered with grape patterns. I was already fed up with the strawberry patterns, but this is also unpleasant. Welcome! Okay, welcome to Grape House. Now then, allow me to explain the Grape House. What? Ta-da! This is Grape House in its entirety. So, let's start by explaining the first floor. Ahem. Aside from the fact that there's no final bedroom, it's basically no different than Strawberry House. Just like there's a strawberry hall over there, there's a grape hall on this side. And, when you go through the grape hall, that means there's a grape tower. The second floor of Grape House is the same as the second floor of Strawberry House. I prepared five dress rooms of different types of lawn with a relaxing lounge. But, the main attraction of Grape House is obviously the third floor. The Monokuma Archive. Everyone loves the Monokuma Archive. If you want to know about my pour out accomplishments and contributions, feel free to study the literature there. Hmm. Now then. This concludes the tour, but I believe I'd be difficult to understand if I just explained it with words, so you should all use your own feet to check out the rest of the building. Hmm? 
That's all for me. Any questions? Like... I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food anyway? Huh? Huh? Is that necessary? Hey! What, what are you saying? Of course it is! <laughs> but it's supposed to be an escape game, so how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? Yahoo! So I've decided to use your stomachs as a time limit. Don't tell me! What do you mean? In other words... Well, simply put... <laughs> it means to kill someone before you starve to death. Lies! What the heck? <laughs> if you're planning to kill someone, I highly recommend you kill... Your, you make your kill as soon as possible. <laughs> It'll be too late if you get so weak you have no energy to kill. Hey! hey hold on! What? Stop. Damn it! Damn it, how much... How much more of this do we have to take until he's satisfied? Uh, is he serious about that there being no food? I don't want that! No way! That's the one thing I don't want. I don't mind starving as long as I can eat. Just let me eat something already. Sheesh! As soon as she learned there's no food, she was overcome by hunger. Obsessions are truly annoying. <laughs> but at least try to stay calm. Now is not the time for you to panic! Hey. Well, being loud here isn't gonna help us. So, for now, we should explore the inside of this building too. Right? After all, if you don't give up, you're sure to find help. Isn't that right, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Alright! Then let's get started. The same pairing as before is fine, right? Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hold on! This time around, I really want to pair up with Miss Sonya. Like... She already left with Gundam. Mm. Looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. Hey! Oof! Kazuichi, I understand that you're feeling down, but we better get going. Damn right! Akane, you too. How much longer are you gonna stay shocked? Come on, let's go. With heavy steps, everyone left to explore Grape House. Then... Now then, where should we start? Why did I say it like that? Since we're on the since we're on the first floor, it might be okay if we start with Grape Tower. I see. Mm, so you're saying you're going to start with the most suspicious place? <laughs> All right. Then let's start with Grape Tower. Show some spirit. Let's start with Grape Tower. Anyway, let's find the exit. Damn it. There's no way I'm gonna let myself starve to death in here. Yup, sure is Sakura. I love that. So we're gonna call it here. Hope you guys like the video. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you feel. And we'll see you next time while we explore the Grape House. Alright, we'll see you later. Bye!